which of the following statements is true about saliva except here we have the term except in the question which simply indicates that out of the given four options we should choose the one which is not a true statement about saliva saliva it is nothing but one of the most important body fluids present in the oral cavity and this saliva it is synthesized and secreted by three major salivary glands and by numerous minor salivary glands in the oral cavity and now getting on with the options it says saliva helps to maintain the ph at 7 amylase helps in proteolysis and saliva has antiseptic function and it helps in deglutition and if you observe all the four options given here are regarding the functions of saliva for that first we should be familiar about the composition of saliva and then the functions of saliva beginning with the composition saliva is composed of water that is 99% is composed of water whereas only 1% is made up of the other substances but the other substances are the most important components of saliva with numerous important functions and what are the various other substances it includes the enzymes organic substances and inorganic substances and under enzymes the most important enzymes are the digestive enzymes like amylase maltase lingual lipase and apart from that lysozyme phosphatase etc and next getting on with organic substances the most important ones is what listed here such as mucin mucin plays a very very important role and apart from that we have albumin we have prolin rich proteins we have lactoferrin immunoglobulins specifically iga is present in larger quantities and next comes the presence of blood group antigens so this play a very important role of saliva in forensics in identifying the blood group antigens in the saliva obtained from the bite marks or from various other objects in the crime scene and apart from that saliva contains various non protein nitrogenous substances like urea uric acid xanthan hypoxanthan etc and the inorganic substances they are nothing but the various electrolytes present in saliva like sodium calcium phosphate fluoride bicarbonate etc and next getting on with the functions the most important function of saliva on teeth is the buffering action it is elicited by the presence of bicarbonates phosphate and proteins of which the major contribution is because of bicarbonates and apart from that lubrication and viscoelasticity it is because of mucins and prolin rich glycoproteins and one another important function is remineralization and it is brought about by calcium phosphate and Stearin prolin rich glycoproteins so stearins and prolin rich glycoproteins have an important role in addition to calcium and phosphate and apart from that pellicle formation by basic prolin rich proteins and histatins and next action on digestion it helps in forming the bolus thus aids in deglutition that is in swallowing of the food and this bolus formation is because of the presence of mucins it is an important point we have to know and the digestion is aided by the presence of various important enzymes like amylase lipase dnase etc amylase it acts on the starch and apart from that we also have lipase that acts on the lipids and then we also have maltase these are some of the important digestive enzymes present in saliva and next getting on with antimicrobial action and it is classified into the effect against bacteria that is antibacterial antiviral and antifungal action and i have given the most important components that has got the antimicrobial effect like lysozyme lactoferrin histamines cystatins histatins and secretory leukocyte protease inhibitor these are some of the important components in saliva having antimicrobial effect and next important function is the role of saliva in tissue repair it is because of the presence of growth factors like epidermal growth factor fibroblast growth factor and apart from that saliva also has nerve growth factor and next getting on with taste zinc play a very important role 
for taste and apart from that lipocalins carbonic anhydrase 4 and urea glucose and sodium bicarbonates in saliva also contributes to the taste and next is the role of excretion that is an excretion of various electrolytes and drugs this is a very very important role certain drugs are excreted through saliva and nitrates in the food Therefore, these are some of the important functions of saliva that is action on teeth, digestion, antimicrobial effect in tissue repair, in taste and in excretion. And now getting back to our question, it says to choose the statement which is not true about saliva, that is exception about saliva. The first option says it helps to maintain the pH at 7. So, what is the normal pH of saliva? It is in the range of 6.4 to 7.4 and this pH is maintained because of the buffering capacity of the saliva and this buffering action is elicited predominantly by bicarbonate but apart from that proteins and phosphates also play a very important role and I have listed it in the actions that is bicarbonate phosphates and proteins play an important role in buffering capacity of the saliva. Therefore, option 1 is a true statement about saliva. It helps to maintain the pH at 7. And second option says amylase helps in proteolysis. So, amylase is nothing but a digestive enzyme and I have mentioned that this amylase play an important role in digesting the starch that is in breaking down the starch into maltose. But here they have mentioned that amylase helps in proteolysis. Proteolysis denotes breakdown of proteins, which is not a right statement. It is not true. Amylase is involved in carbohydrate digestion and not in proteolysis. Therefore, the one which stands as an exception is option 2. Let us confirm it with the other options also. The third option says it has antiseptic function. And this is because of the antimicrobial action of the saliva. So, antiseptic, antisepsis, it is nothing but free of pathogenic microbes or absence of pathogenic microbes and it is because of the antimicrobial effect or antimicrobial actions of saliva. And fourth option says it helps in deglutition. I have mentioned that saliva, specifically the mucins present in the saliva aids in bolus formation and therefore aids in deglutition that is the swallowing process. Therefore, out of the given four options, the one which stands is an exception which is not true about saliva is option 2 which says amylase helps in proteolysis. Amylase is involved in carbohydrate digestion and not in proteolysis. Therefore, the right answer here is option 2.